Hey guys, back to another video, and in this one, I'm thinking about changing up my intro. I don't know, I don't think I really like, hey guys, welcome back to another video. So, y'all, say down below in the comments what you think I should make my intro for season four. Well, this time, we have two mint cars and one that I'm missing part of it. But, that's about what you get, you know? It is old, after all. Uh, and this guy right here, this front one, was released in 1983 as part of an extras set. So, you could say that, you know, the back dump truck part was, you know, an extra anyway. You don't need it. So, you know, for the purposes of this video, just know it came in yellow, had a gray dump, and that's about it. But other than that, I don't think we'll be needing to see that that much, because these guys over here are in better condition. As you can see, we got Red on Red from 1989, and I believe 1985 had Blue on White. Now, it is the same casting as a lot of others. The cement mixer. Let me put him back. This uh, oil, I'm not exactly sure the name of that one, but, you know, with the gas tank on the back. I think it might be called the Peterbilt uh, Fuel Tank or something like that. But anyway, um, let's talk about these guys right here. So as you can see, we've got a bit of a 4th of July theme, even though I'm filming this, you know, right before 4th of July. I might come out right after. I don't know. Anyway, 4th of July theme. And as you can see, we've got some shiny bases. These are in pretty much mint condition. Now this guy, like I said, came out in 1989. But you can find it with different uh, wheel variations, which I will show you around the room from other years. I believe that one's a 1996. It has seven spokes. Um, if we go over here through the Hot Wheels Museum, I need to cut that out and hang it up. We'll get to a poster. Now, this poster might not look like it has much significance to this video but if you take a look back here behind the skate shop you'd see hidden off back in the corner a Peterbilt dump truck with real riders so that was a prototype Hot Wheels made but they never actually made that car that was just a prototype and that's it I would love to see it with real riders I'd be super cool but I guess it wasn't meant to be well, let's move on back to the shelf and take a look at all the fun little details and all the other random crap that I know about these two. Okay. So if you take a look, you can see there are a lot of details on this particular casting. Now, the dump truck is pretty standard on all of them. They all have the same dump truck. It has little ridges all over it. It has a little thing in the bottom that holds it in place. This one has it broken, so you can't pick it up by the dumper and it will stay flat. But this one is. This one has it mint. So I got uh, this one, I know, at a guy's booth at a flea market. And this one, I believe, was just opened straight out of the package and stored for a long time. And uh, these, I believe, both would have been in the Workhorses series, which I'll show you what a Workhorses package look would have looked like in a sec. I'll be right back. Without the new paint style thing, I believe that one would not have that. You can see what the workhorses package would have looked like in the mid-1980s. That would have been when the blue one was first released. However, the other one would have a different package, and it would probably have that card art, but I'm not 100% sure, as I've never seen one on the package, I don't believe. And I don't have one anywhere on my display. Well, if you look at the cars a little bit closer, like I was saying, you'll see a lot of very unique little details. So, you know, it has the normal ones, the base, you know, gas tanks and all that stuff. But it has door lines, which a lot of cars from this era didn't. A lot of cars didn't have door lines back in those days. Let's see. See that guy? Didn't really have any door lines. Um, and, but I mean, some of them do, some of them have opening doors. Let's see, does Ramblin' Wrecker? No. As you can see, Ramblin' Wrecker has no door lines. So, you know, that's a pretty, uh, pretty cool car to have door lines. And if you look, it's got little mirrors sticking out, out of the side of the car, which another little detail a lot of black holes didn't have. And 
it has that little thing. Now, a lot of you truck guys probably know more about that than I do. I don't know what it is. It has a little ladder there. It has lots of horns and lights on the top. It's a very cool, very detailed car. And it's probably one of my favorites. As you can see, we've got a little bit of a red, white, and blue theme going on. And they are some of probably the coolest cars in my collection that are mint. I really like this casting. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and like I said, there's a lot of others. There's a cement mixer. But I think the... Uh, man, I just tripped over my words. I think the dump truck uh, probably looks the best. You know, it's you can put stuff back there if I wanted to. I had it like that for a little while. I had the little going fishing zowies. But, you know, they're they're pretty cool. They're older Hot Wheels. Like all the black walls. And you can just see all the little details that they have. So I think that's about all I have to say about these cars. So I guess I'll move on to the next topic of today's video. Which I already was talking about. Dump truck. So if you look down in my collection... You'd see somewhere that um, there is a Hong Kong and a Malaysia. But this one right here, as you can see, is the Malaysia. I don't have the Hong Kong. And it was originally released, I believe, this one in 1980. So, yeah, it's an older one. And again, perfectly mint. Nice shiny base. And it has all the same cab details. You can see the top of the cab just a little bit better. But, as you can see back there, it's got a very different cement mixer that, again, you could probably put stuff into, but if you put some water in it, I think it would leak through. Again, a lot of details. It's got a little, I'm, I believe that's like a belt that would rotate the cement mixer. The cement mixer itself does rotate. And, if you take a close look, there's lots of little things you can grip on there. Lots of nice little details. And on the back, you can see the belt that you can see over there goes down there. And that's where the gear is that turns the belt. Now, on this one, you can see, you can't really see on the other one, tail lights. I believe that is tail lights. I'm not 100% sure. But, yeah, tail lights. So, that's pretty cool. And one more thing to show in this video. We're not quite done yet. Is, let me show you. The gas oil truck. There we go, and there's both of them. Now, um, if you take a look, this guy, I believe, came out in 1987 and has metal flake paint on the tanker, while this one is just bare metal. And this one has a very cool 80s style tampo, and this one looks more like it, you know, it, it, this looks more generic. This one probably could have come out at any time. And this one's definitely the heaviest of all of them. But don't take it from me. I'll prove it. How am I going to tell that this truck... Oh, there's some dirt right there. How am I going to tell that this truck weighs more than those two? By a scale, of course. You know how Mr. Mom uses a scale that, you know, says how many grams each car is? I think I can one-up him. The scale of truth and justice. So let's see the weight. As you can see, I've got some scales that I just balanced. One has to have a quarter in it because the house is slanted. But, we go put the penny over there and just hit something. We can weigh these cars and see which one is truly heavier. Whoa. Cement mixer pretty heavy. Well, let's see what the dump truck has to say about that. Whoa, dump truck's heavier. Well, like I said, what about the tank truck? Peterbilt tank truck. That's the name of it. I looked it up. And even though I have all the variations of the cement mixer and the dump truck, I'm missing a lot of railroad ones. There is one that came in the blimp five pack that I don't have that's green there is a blue railroad one I think there might be a green railroad one there's a yellow railroad one ton of railroad ones but let's see how much it weighs whoa 
That is one heavy truck. Now let's see, does it weigh as much or more as both? Okay. It's a little bit more balanced than before, but as you can see, the it's closer in weight. The weight of those two trucks together than the weight of that truck and the dump truck. Yep. That is one heavy railroad truck. Well, let's get back to the black wall room. So as you can see, generally, the tank truck is the heaviest car. But a lot of the time, they're missing the back part, so they all weigh the same. And that is very sad. One life equals one prayer for these valiant, brave cars. That so often, the kids tear apart into pieces. I found so many that are missing parts all of the humanity. I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> tell me down below if you had any of these cars as a kid. I feel like some of you probably did. Tell me some of the stories you had about them. Did you tear them apart? Did you keep them like that? Did you... That's something else you could do. Throw them off a cliff? Did you get rid of them at a garage sale? What happened? And also, which one's your favorite? The dump truck or the cement mixer? Or do you just like the workhorses package? Tell me down below. See you guys next time. Bye.